Okay. Um, do learn ice columns some do garba. You learn in the school that you go to. This was one of Ma's favorite expressions. I heard it many times growing up in the 20s and 30s. The background of her saying this was meant to be that the parents are the children's first teachers. I was pretty small when I first heard it. Mostly when something I was hoping happening, uh, happening in the neighborhood that wasn't meant to be that way. If kids in other families were getting into something they weren't supposed to and having problems. Ma often said, yeah, well, you learn in the school that you go to. To me, it meant that the parents were not setting a good example for their kids. Then what do you expect? If the parents blame it on the teacher, then the kids were taught to blame it on someone else. They didn't take responsibility. It reminds me of a song, you have to be careful taught. It's spoken of problems with kids growing up. This included morals, respect, re reverence for life and reverence for the land. You can call this uh, the church of the great outdoors. When you get down to the very basics that is God's creation. I know my parents gave us a good school to go to. There was no prejudice to drag around all my life. We grew up on a farm and everywhere we looked there was God's creation from the animals to the crops and our entire env environment from snow banks to spring flowers. Du uh, spring flowers. During the drought years we found out how important rain is for life. Another expression my mother and dad often used was own good will. God willing, in English, my dad often used the expression liver von till. If I live until spring, I'm going to, it could be most anything. He had plans and he depended on God to take him to the next season. He changed the season in the spring to the fall. How much more faith can you have that than that? Whenever we were living after visiting with someone, Ma and Pa would say, Du fa live sa well. That means, I wish that you, will live, you live well. The answer would be, like Maud, that means, I wish the same for you. That was heard every time a neighbor came and left after a visit. That was a favorite parting expression. Thank you. <laughs>